It happened. Him and another OTF member was waiting for um Sosa to come out. Talk about oh they Sosa friends and shit like that. And all along they were trying to do some shit like take a chain, I guess, because you know they check you for guns and shit, so you can't even have a gun in there. So I know they wasn't gonna shoot shit because they can't even bring a gun in there. So basically, uh. Yeah, they was talking about a step to nigga chain of shit. And the officer heard him. I ain't snitched to the officer. The officer heard him. And they and a bunch of police officers came and like, why 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 y'all here and shit like that? Move for y'all ass to get arrested and shit like that. And I told Tato, I ended up getting fired, but I ain't give a fuck. It was worth it. I had a whole conversation with the nigga. With um Tato, well, not with Tato, but well Tato too, but Keith. I went to his car and shit. Got the nigga up, had a conversation, gave me words of wisdom, and we banked as that. What's cracking? What's poppin'? Media Monster Jada checking in one time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Let's get to it. All right, Muwap didn't deny anything having to do with Sosa Chain. I felt like it was cap, you know, because, like, a nigga like Chief Keith, not saying he just, like, the most, like, gangsters or anything like that, but I feel like somebody tried to snatch his chain backstage at Rolling Loud, another rapper. Be like, it's gonna be some commotion. I don't, I'm not saying nobody gonna get shot. But I think it's somebody gonna it's gonna be some fighting going on at least. You feel me? Like it's not I don't think it's just gonna be a nigga just taking Sosa chain. But it's even just like that's just like that's just these fans, these internet ass nerds. I really blame the blogs on this one for like basically like bro niggas is listening to a fucking a temporary security guard. We ain't talking about a security guard that be at the strip club all the time with some real um juice, some real shit to talk about. Some of a nigga who was a security guard for that day because Chief Keith was performing, my nigga. Like, I can't believe niggas even took that serious. Niggas started spreading that, which bring me back to another thing. Like, that shit can turn into real potential issues. Like, like come on, bro. That's why, I, like, I ain't, I don't really know the, uh, I ain't too much uh, on that OTF 300. Y'all gonna have to lace me up in the comments. I've been reading other comments, but you know, people been talking about Reese playing size and, uh, fucking. Uh, OTF always trying to snake Chief Keep like a whole bunch of little shit. You know, I don't really know, but I just think I'm just thinking on the blog part where I don't like where the blogs picked that up and ran with it, you know, from a, a basically a random source. We get to the point where anybody can say anything these days and then these media outlets are running with it. So it's getting crazy. You don't even have to be a certified blue chick or somebody who's within the music industry. You don't need no footage, it's just words. So and this shit crazy, but uh, y'all heard what Chief Keep said on that on um, on that early. I got all my motherfucking jewelry on. Um, yeah, <laughs> hey, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Appreciate you.